Morning YouTube, it's I, Danielle, better known as Danielle, the happy medium. And first and foremost, I want to thank all of you who have come over here to subscribe. We have now reached a thousand subscribers. So can I take this opportunity first and foremost to thank each and every one of you for subscribing, hitting the notification bell, watching my videos and helping me out over here on YouTube. I've only had the channel eight months. It's quite a new channel to me, but a one that seems to be growing just as quickly is my Facebook page. For those who may be on, follow me on Facebook. I will put the link in the description box below for you to take a look and maybe join us over there on Facebook. But today, folks, in this topic of video, we're going to talk about trust and why trust is so important in your mediumship for the Buddha medium, for those who are out there in the industry doing platform work or for anybody who's just doing the private sittings and are thinking that they are not good enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for, for many of you who have been watching my channel here for a little while, the biggest thing that I talk about is trust when it comes to the spirit world. And unfortunately, a lot of us, because we think we're making it up, a lot of us because we think that we haven't got it right, or because we're watching other mediums who seem to be nailing it every time, think that we're doing something wrong or that we don't have the connection that other people have. And really, the only difference between them and you in me, in you, is the fact that I trust what I get from the spirit world and I give it. That's the only thing that is different between me, you and everybody else. And everybody that I speak to in some capacity has some issues with trusting the spirit world or trusting themselves when they get the information. Because there's so much out there, knowledge and interference of the mind and psychic work and mediumistic work and... There's so many pitfalls and mediumship and so much different diverse advice, guidance, knowledge out there. People are so confused now, they don't know what to trust and what not to trust. So I train the basic way. The basic way is the way of the spirit world. Because without the spirit world and without the spirit world involvement, this process wouldn't happen. It would be it couldn't happen because it's ultimately the spirit world. You're just the middle man or woman in the middle making your mouth go as i put it because ultimately mediumship is not about you know ego it's not about how big you can get your name it's not about how many followers you can get or how many followers you can't get when we do mediumship from the heart and because we genuinely believe in the spirit world and we believe in giving evidence that is for the client not for you not to make you the razzler dazzler for the client and why we do mediumship, that will always be your starting point. And when people talk to me about how they can build their relationship with the spirit world, how they can improve their mediumship, the best way you can do that is sit for your team and learn to trust in what it is that is given to you from the spirit world. For them that don't know who their team are, this is even bigger, more trust and experience because ultimately if you don't know who the people are, you've got to trust that what's coming through and what's being given to you is true, right and accurate. For those who know who their team is, I am talking about guides here, then learning to build the, the tests or the games in which that I give in a live q and I will put the link in the description box for you or at the end of the video, you can take a look at that. Where I played games with my guides for many, many months and years, learning to understand my clear range, learning to understand the difference between energies and learning to understand that by practicing, practice made me nearly perfect. You will never be perfect in the mediumship movement. And unfortunately, people can make mediums think that they're doing something wrong because they're not nailing the evidence, they're not getting it 100% right, or they're not getting it accurate because everybody's got this title of accurate, evidential, um, international, there's lots and lots of titles. And I am going to be doing a video on um, it's what we call um, credentials. And I will be talking a little bit about more about that and that will probably go up tomorrow there. But for those who are struggling, for those who aren't, don't know where they're going and what they're doing, my advice to you out there in the industry is go back to basics, go back to sitting for your team. Not because, you know, it's, it's because, not because you want to gain something, because you're going to give your time. And by giving your time to the spirit world, they will give theirs back. You will then gain confidence in your mediumship, gain confidence in the team in which you work with, gain confidence in the mediumship that you give. And when you don't get it right, 
don't worry about it. It's just that that's the way it is for you at this time. Mediumship is a constant involvement. Take the pressure off. There's no need to have a lot of pressure here with mediumship. Too many mediums beat themselves up and get themselves into such a pickle because they're saying others oh, doing so, so well in the industry and they're wanting to know why it is that they're not doing well. And again, all I've told you is it's because it's trust. They trust what they're given, they get. Whether you be the storyteller medium, whether you be the factual based medium, whether you're blending the two together, it doesn't make any difference. Your mediumship is yours. I, I, I promote that massively here on the channel because I see so many mediums getting to change in their work or making their work and I was guilty of that. I was guilty of that last year because of some of the things that I was said to me. I changed my work and it just didn't fit my box and my works had to go back to the way it was because that's my mediumship. That person's mediumship was theirs and mine's mine and you will never ever get your mediumship like anybody else's because it's yours and it's unique to you. So in essence, to them who ask me the question on trust, the best thing that you can do for your mediumship or for you as the medium is trust what you get, give what you get. And whenever somebody tells you something, your guides in particular, believe it. Not because you, your conscious mind's interfering. If you've put the intention in there and you've said that you're going to connect to your guides or the spirit world, then that's how it works. It doesn't work any differently. It, there's no mechanic, there's no structure, there's no nothing. It's intention, it's thought based working for the spirit world. It isn't anything more or anything less. So when you put your intention to it, and what you when you ask that question and you get that answer back, then that's your answer. It's just that you don't really like the answer that you get. And ego will always, or your human side of you, will always want to alter or change that. Sometimes in life we get answers that we don't really like and answers we don't really want. But sometimes in order to strengthen and move your mediumship forward, you have to take them answers and accept them for what they are. Mediumship is also a connection to soul work. Learning to trust yourself is as much as important as trusting the spirit world. Learning to trust you in the judgments that you make and the path that you walk. It will not be the same as everybody else's. No two paths are the same. Everybody's is different. And I'm yet to see any medium who works the same as another medium. There'll be factors in there. But again, it will always be their work. And it is really wrong of us to judge anybody on the way in which that they work because their work is their work. If you judge a tree by its appearance, does that tree look any different to the job in which it does just by the way that it looks? No, it doesn't. And it's exactly the same with mediumship. Just because you look a certain way or just because you walk a certain way or because you talk a different way doesn't mean that your mediumship isn't any better or any worse than the tree that stands. The tree still does its job, just in a different way. And each medium is individual. Best thing for you, if you take it from one medium for two knows and went through it last year, don't change your work, trust what you get, give what you get, People will critique you. They'll always critique you. There's out, there's many out there who critique and, and want to have a pop. And, and, you know, that's really a judgment call on their mediumship because they have such a high standard with their mediumship. And that's okay. That's how they want to live theirs. That doesn't mean to say you have to live yours that way as well. Always do your mediumship from the heart. Always be true to your mediumship, no matter what, what you do. And always be truthful with yourself and with the spirit world. If you think you're working on that psychic link, then go to the spirit world and ask them. They'll tell you. You know, if you think that you're flipping between two, then work on that. Work with the spirit world. They'll teach you. People think that the spirit world won't teach you. They will. They've got every bit of knowledge in them to get you where you need to be. It's just that you don't want it. To, you want to take the easy route, not the hard route. Mediumship is hard. There's honestly the amount of blood, sweat and tears in and times in my mediumship and I've, I've I come away and thought I can't do this but there's something that keeps drawing you back something that keeps making you want to stay there something that tells you just keep on going and in the end it all works out just as it was meant to it's just that you wanted it quicker than what you were ever entitled to and we only get what we want not what we, we only get what we're meant to get not what we want with mediumship that's the way it goes so when I say trust Learn to trust. Learn to trust in your team. Learn to trust in your communicator that comes forward. Don't doubt. Don't doubt anything that's given to you. Just give it as you say it. Don't mess with it. Just If you get an apple, give an apple. If you get an orange, give an orange. Just remember the way you, you give it, Dad's make me aware that an orange will be relevant. Remember how you say it. Make sure that you're not overcompensating. 
just do what you can do at that time and practice makes nearly perfect you'll never be perfect but it'll make good it'll make you good enough and that's all the spirit world asks for enough and for you to be good enough so for all those who are freaking out there, for all those who are panicking, and I know there's a lot of you that come to me asking me for hints and tips on how to make their mediumship move forward. And while I have given some, the biggest thing that I can talk to anybody about in mediumship, more than any skill set, any certificate, any credential, any demonstration you can do in any of the top churches in this country or abroad, is you've got to trust. You've got to trust what you're getting. Because if you didn't trust it, you'll always doubt it. And when you doubt it, you doubt the spirit world. And then you insult the spirit world because you doubt them. So learn to trust in them because they wouldn't be there unless they were meant to be there. They wouldn't be giving you it if it wasn't meant to be given. So learn that and learn to do it your way and learn to trust in the way that you do it will get you where you need to be. And remember that team that's with you or that person that's with you from the spirit world or that guy that's with you is there because they're meant to be there because that's the spirit world. That's who's chosen to work with you and learn to embrace that. The quicker you embrace it, the quicker you trust it, the quicker your mediumship will get up and on its feet. I've been Danielle, better known as Danielle, a happy medium. Thank you again, once again, for the thousand subscribers. I'm, I'm so chuffed. You've got no idea. I'm so excited. Um, I will be uploading today, which is Thursday. I'll be uploading again tomorrow. And I'll have some over the weekend because I've got quite a bit that um, I've got to talk about over the next few days as I've um, had some questions and things given to me. So I'm going to be getting some uploads up there for you all to take a look at. But take it from one medium to another Buddha medium or professional medium out there. Trust is everything. And I will see you all again sometime.